does beauty standards affect you as an individual? Society deems beautiful can be absolutely soul crushing. It can cause mental health issues like anxiety, depression, body dysmorphia, and eating disorders. It can also push people, especially young women, to seek help other ways of achieving this perfect image through surgery. The first step to overcoming the anxiety and fear associated with beauty is to accept. Now, I know it's difficult, but accept your body, accept your flaws, and accept who you are. You are perfectly made. Now, later in this tutorial, I will list and discuss tips to overcome these unrealistic beauty standards. Very quickly, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Maria and welcome to Aglaya Aesthetics Online. I am an aesthetics instructor, a master esthetician, an examiner for many years. I also have an online aesthetics training for individuals who want to become certified estheticians here in Canada or in the States, or maybe for just personal knowledge. Give me comments below, love to connect with you. So let's get started. There is an undeniable presence of social media and the uprising of influencers culture in the current age of the internet. There have always been impossible beauty standards for people worldwide, especially for women. However, these beauty standards only become more high pressure with the rise of influencers like myself and of course their influence on social media platforms. Although having the perfect body isn't tell you a new craze, the type of body that women want now is quite new. This new interest in an hourglass figure body has had women turn to the surgeon's table in hopes to attain this perfect body. The phrase, does this make my butt look bigger? Are my lips huge enough? Bigger breasts, more eyelashes, a collagen injection, Botox, are the phrases that people hear from the mouths of women everywhere. In different cities and countries, the beauty standards are different all over the world. Like uh, you will have the Korean beauty, the Chinese beauty, the East Indian beauty, the uh, uh, Filipino, uh, the Latino. But what remains constant is the pressure that young men and women face to fit those standards. Social media plays a massive role in the onset of pressures that people worldwide face to fit in. When you look at yourself and compare your body or the whole image to that of your favorite celebrity, it can be hard to stray away from the beauty standards placed on society. When it comes to the influence of these celebrities, Instagram models, YouTubers, and other popular social media users, many people can get sucked into the idea of the perfect body, which can lead to self-esteem issues, depression, and the development of mental disorders, depending on the severity. Although, celebrities and influencers don't have the responsibility to babysit those they influence, they should be aware of the messages they may send to those who are watching them. I can go on a tangent about this all day long and I will say my piece when we get there. I have spoken with a few people to hear their take on this, how they have been impacted personally, and what they think we should all keep in mind when we think of the word beauty. 
people or everyone on social media always look so much happier, everything is perfect, harder than they do in real life? Girls love to edit their bodies in a way that makes them think that they look more attractive. Now, one of the things that I get a little bit annoyed is when I see celebrities that are getting a lot of uh, surgery and college injection and nose repair and all that, and then they deny that they have something done. That's when I get a little bit annoyed because the young girls and women, they think that these celebrities are perfect. However, if you look at their pictures when they started their career and in midstream and now that they are 50 or 60, you can see the transition of their uh, skin and their body and their features that they have changed. Just say the truth. The image that the press has manufactured and also these celebrities is why young women often spend so much time photoshopping their their pictures to seem as perfect as the photoshopped celebrities. This is incredibly damaging for everyone, but especially people who already struggle with their mental health and their self-esteem. The standards for men and how mental health often goes un unaddressed for men in America how society makes men feel is that we should all be tall, chiseled, muscular, jawline, six-pack, which is not the case. This stereotype has put a strain on his mental health and his confidence due to being taught that if you don't have huge muscles, you have no chance. If you are not tall, you are not going to succeed. Men also have internalized these battles due to the boys don't cry mindsets in our country that we are trying to break down. I feel like every guy needs to understand that it is okay to express their emotions and feelings and you don't have to be the perfect Model. The body positive movement have been going on for a while now on social media. Thank goodness. It's all about loving yourself and your body. The general consensus is that the movement is crucial to see on social media and it's important to love yourself and be confident in who you are. Everyone is beautiful. Everyone has a feature or something that stands out. It's just hard to convince yourself that you are too. This feeling is prevalent especially in young women who spend a significant amount on time on social media. A few days ago I was uh, traveling and uh, I sat beside this young girl and uh, very pretty natural looking. Uh, she was uh, maybe 13, 14 years old, cute little freckles, uh, just a little bit of mascara, just the beauty just was coming out and uh, beautiful blue eyes and I looked at her and said, wow, you have beautiful blue eyes and she goes, yeah, but my nose is too big, my hands are too big, my bum is too little. I don't think so. I think you're very pretty. And then she brings up uh, some of her uh, people that she follows on Instagram. And I asked her, how many hours are you on Instagram? And she said, oh, maybe 11, 12 hours a day. Can you imagine a 13, 14 year old seeing these impressions and thinking that she needs to match those celebrities? It's, it's uh, out of this world. It becomes very easy to compare yourself to others and wish that you looked like other people. Just like this young little girl wanted to. She wanted to be another person. Too many young adults and teens don't see themselves as beautiful because they are comparing themselves to the standards of beauty. They see themselves that they look different of what they see on social media. My experience when I was a teenager, I wanted to go into modeling 
and uh, so I was very eager I think I was 12 13 years old and they were talking about the 70s and I go and uh, I was very excited you know and I wasn't ugly I was a pretty good looking girl had the curly hair long curly hair I was a little bit more curvaceous and uh, the person that uh, brought me in to tell me if I was a fit she said I am so sorry uh, Maria you're not the fit and I go what do you mean I'm not the fit she went well what we're looking for girls that are taller than you and I was 5'7 and they wanted somebody 5'8 or above I said, okay, I'm not that. We want somebody that uh, is not curvaceous like you. You're to have a bit too many curves. And I wasn't that big, but I was not straight up and down. And uh, also we want people with uh, straight hair. Blue eyes, it's okay. That's the only thing I had. <laughs> and uh, your facial shape is also good. But I had too many things against me. So I was not the fit at that time. Yes, I was really upset, but I looked at myself and I said, you know, I have my own beauty, maybe not for the modeling. I was too short, I had curly hair, uh, I was too curvaceous, so modeling was not for me. So that was my experience when I was a young girl. It's only that I think I, I had a, a maybe strong self-esteem that I did not followed but also then we did not have social media being bombarded like social media is bombarding now the young girls it's important to remember that the pictures we see in the internet are usually not how things look they've been changed Photoshop they there's so many things that they've done was lighting lighting and everything don't compare yourself to girls who make their butt look bigger and their waist look smaller and their breasts sticking out and the lips huge and on and on. Heavy edited photos can be very toxic to see. Anytime you look at a girl on Instagram and start comparing yourself to them, you are hurting yourself. We are all different in our own ways and we all have flaws and that's the way it's supposed to be for guys it's not as common to address these issues that the media can bring into focus i still think we have a far way to go when it comes to letting guys talk about their internal battles they are having and I feel like as a community a way we can help is just by all listening and being there for whoever needs it I hope you're enjoying this tutorial uh, up to now and uh, if you're getting value remember to hit the subscribe button here are some tips that can help you number one accept yourself as you are beauty lies is a rarity and each one of us is a rare piece there's no one like you the day you accept <laughs> the day you accept this fact you will no longer feel the urge to run after trends and the standards Many young girls, women, and men feel dissatisfied with their looks and they try to follow or imitate the appearance of their idols, a model, or an influencer. This creates undue pressures and discontentment. Acceptance is the key to being happy. In the beauty industry, myself included, we are pressured to have Botox and collagen injections and facial um, face pinups and uh, boobs fill ups and all that. I made a decision about 30 years ago when I was 30 that I will never do that. I'm going to grow old gracefully like Betty White. Let's go to number two. Go on social media detox. Being on social media is proven to be detrimental to mental health. And spending too much time on social media causes lethargy, 
mood disorders, sleep disorders, and unhealthy eating habits. Therefore, going for a social media detox is the perfect way to break free of this vicious cycle. It not only keeps you away from negativity and self-doubt, but also gives you an ample time to work on yourself and start loving yourself. Number three, indulge in positive messages. While there is a downside to social media, there's also a bright side to it. Many sites, influencers, and even celebrities are promoting and advocating body positivity. There are a number of blogs, movies, and documentaries that empowers body positivity and helps women and men see themselves as worthy. Seek out those sources. Focus on good things and build your own confidence. God has created you perfectly and you are beautifully made. Number four, read self-help books. Self-help books can really help in building your self-esteem and confidence. These books help you understand the benefits of building self-esteem and give you a constructive way to do that. They teach you the benefits of positive self-talk and teach you how to ways to handle the self-criticism within you. This not only helps you feel good about yourself, but also help building a strong personality. My favorite self book is the Bible. That is where I get confidence and God speaking to me through his word and telling me that I am perfect. Maria, I made you perfect in my image. Number five. Find five things that you are grateful. Find at least five things about your body makes you feel grateful and write them down in a diary. You can also write about the things that you want to work on, like uh, maybe exercising or maybe taking yoga, whatever you want to do. Uh, or uh, natural skin care for better skin health or improving your diet for wellness. This will help you feel more content in your own body. Number six, practice non-judgment. Being judgmental about someone else's beauty or appearance also puts on pressure on yourself to look a certain way. See the beauty in all shapes and sizes and this practice will help you accept yourself in a better wholesome way. Number seven, find what you are good at. Focus on the good and good shall have happened. Read good things, listen to good music, look at beautiful things. This is the law of attraction. You may not look flawless, but you can be flawless in your morals, your character, your conduct at work. And uh, there is a different kind of satisfaction when you excel in these facets of life, no matter how old you are. Anyone can hide behind filters and make up and to be truly beautiful from the inside out is a rare thing. I've had a lot of individuals that tell me, Maria, why don't you put makeup on? Maria, why don't you get maybe a facelift? Or I noticed that you have some wrinkles. No, I am happy the way I am. I don't want to do that. Yes, I do uh, microneedling. Yes, I do radio frequency. I do muscle exercising. I do take collagen, liquid collagen. I have some links below. I do have a good skincare, but that's it. No cutting, no pinning, no injections for me. The beauty standards of society are not only absurd, 
but also toxic. They are unattainable, overly sexualized, and totally unhealthy. The beauty image portrayed by the media and fashion industry is not even real. The flaws are covered with professional makeup, lighting, editing, filters, injections. Spending your time, energy, and money to look at a certain way makes no sense. It is rather the healthy skin, healthy hair, and healthy body that a person should aim for. I know it can be hard to shut out the mean voices in the back of your head. Keep notes around your living space and remind yourself that you are beautiful inside out. Put notes around you and that will give you spiritual and mental support. Our differences are the things that make us beautiful and individual. Let me know below if you have any questions. Now, if you have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Give me a like, click on the notification bell so you will not miss any of my educational tutorial. Check this tutorial coming up and I know that you will like. It is about the ugly truths of the beauty industry. I hope that you found this tutorial to be useful and walk away with simple and easy tips. Remember to treat yourself always with love and respect. Until the next time, take care and may God bless you.